Composer's Voice is an opportunity for contemporary composers to express their aesthetic and personal voice. This episode of Composer's Voice features clarinetist and hichiriki player Thomas Piercy performing the works of five contemporary composers. Marty Reagan has composed over 70 works for traditional Japanese instruments and since 2002 has been affiliated with Aura J, one of Japan's premier performance ensembles with contemporary traditional Japanese music. He graduated from Oberlin College in 1995 with a Bachelor of Music and Composition and a Bachelor of Music in English and East Asian Study. From 2000 to 2002, he studied composition and took applied lessons on traditional Japanese instruments as a Japanese government-sponsored research student at Tokyo College of Music. In 2002, his composition song poem of the Eastern Clouds for Sakuhachi and 21 String Koto was premiered at the fifth annual composition competition for traditional Japanese instruments at the National Theater of Japan. He completed his PhD in music with an emphasis in composition at the University of Hawaii, Manoa in 2006.
Composer Mikigaku Kitsukawa, his contemporary and traditional Japanese works have been described as new lyricism by the Onigaku Gende Journal for the rich lyrical melodies and use of harmony and noble and elegant sound derived from Japanese musical modes and harmony. Kitsukawa is a member of the Japanese traditional instruments group, Ora J, producer and composer in residence, a member of the Torotaro composer in residence, and a member of the contemporary musical group, Hogaku. He is a director of Conference of Music and Dance in Japan. He was the editor of the monthly journal Onigaku no Sede, and is currently the chief editor of the journal Onigaku no Seke. The piece, Ora J, was selected for the 2006 and 2008 Real Stage Arts Experience, put on by the Agency for Cultural Affairs. His music was selected by clarinetist and hichiriki player Thomas Piercy for the 2013 and 2014 Tokyo to New York events, and performed overseas for the first time. In 2015, his work was presented and performed by Thomas Piercy's TEDx Tezuka, and Global TEDx is now being used as teaching materials in the universities, colleges of music, and other educational institutions.
Jose Chabrier was born in Montevideo, Uruguay, of Russian and Polish parents. At the age of nine, he began to study violin and at the age of 11 made his conducting debut. In high school, he organized and conducted the first youth orchestra in Uruguay, which toured the country and gave more than 100 concerts over four years. Today, Serbrier conducts most major orchestras around the world and has become the most recorded conductor of his generation. Sandro Montalto privately studied piano, harmony, and counterpoint before entering the Conservatory of Turin, where he obtained a diploma in the instrumentation for band 
and the specialist degrees in instrumentation for direction of for wind orchestra and composition. He has written works for piano and other solo instruments, for chamber ensembles, for orchestra, for band, and for choir. His music tries to treasure both the past as well as the 20th century experiences in their labyrinthine and sometimes contradictory multiplicity, crossed without any reverence or dogmatism, but captured in their being opportunities for expression. David Loeb was born in 1939 in New York into a family which took music and painting very seriously. He studied composition with Peter Pindar Stearns at the Manus College of Music in New York and then completed a master's degree at Yale. 1964 became a critical year for his future. He began teaching at Manus and remained on the faculty there ever since simultaneously teaching at the Curtis Institute from 1973 until 2000. Receiving a commission to compose a piece for an early music ensemble resulted in a continuing involvement with writing for historical instruments, especially viols. Later that same year, he began studying traditional Japanese music with Shinchinchi Uiza. This resulted in a permanent and intense involvement and a succession of collaborative projects with Yuizi-san until his recent passing away. 